What is up, YouTubers? Okay, so what I have here is a deep freezer by Canmore. And what I'm about to uh, show you guys is how I got my deep freezer running again. Uh, long story short, uh, I was going to YouTube getting more information on how to fix this thing. Uh, most common part to replace was the compressor relay and I did that and still does not run. So I'm gonna go to the steps that I took uh, on how I found out what was the issue was. Okay, so first thing you wanna do before you purchase uh, parts is to check, make sure that your switch, your, I guess, thermistor switch is, is, uh, is good. So what I did was I took, make sure you don't confuse the, uh, the wires. So I took the whatever wires that it's connected here, I pretty much um, connected them together. So it's the brown wire and the black wire. So you have to pay attention. You don't wanna, this, the green wire is the ground. So uh, make sure that to know that it's the ground is because of the green wires hooked up to the chassis or the frame. But anyways, so hook this up together and it worked, you know. But I didn't. I don't know what happened. But friend, uh, I have a bulb here, the green bulb. Um, it didn't turn on, so I'm like, okay. I need, I need to dig some more, and then I found out that my bulb also uh, burnt out. But anyways. Uh, I'm gonna have to show you guys uh, if you guys are not comfortable on hooking this up together. Uh, what you can do is, if you have a multimeter, I just put on ohms, right, and just check for uh, continuity. So what I did was, uh, let me get this thing situated here. Okay. hook this up to the terminal and it's oil so and my switch is in the middle or turned on halfway so that's not good so I already ordered parts um, here's the good part so good part should read at least I don't know depends on the switch really it's just a resistor switch so but I do have a contact or continuity it's point two, so, and thing is, even if even this switch is off, it's still reading point two. So maybe it's the I guess because you have the sensor here, right? The temperature sensor, maybe that's the ones uh, expanding and retracting and closing the contacts. So uh, that's my theory, but. This is new switch, so I'm going to put back together. Uh, also, I ordered the light bulb too. And uh, I ordered all my parts at Sears Direct Parts. Uh, just have to put your serial number of your uh, freezer and then uh, just go from there. So put it back together and uh, see what happens. Okay, so I just wanna hook it up real quick, make sure that it's going to turn on. So I did put the temperature sensor to uh, right there and my compressor is running. So now uh, I'm gonna have to uh, cut this wire. Oops. Okay. Uh, well, okay. So, cut this wire and then uh, install my uh, new light uh, that came in with the casing. So I um, have to take that off, and hopefully, should be good. Okay, guys. Um, 
everything is put back together but uh, just to go back previously when I was checking the ohms for the switch um, so I made a mistake um, I think well it was hard for me to turn this to the off position so I thought it was already off but it, it wasn't till uh, so right now that's the off position and it was just brand new switch and then uh, I just can't get it to the off position without using a pliers or hooking this knob but there is no uh, continuity between them so it's uh, OL so that means it's off check and of course everything is still disconnected power wise so I got that one so still off and I'm gonna put it to the on switch so that's on and it should be 0.2 oops So, so going back here, the old switch, I made sure that this is off. There, that's off. I mean, it feels like it's pretty worn out to the switch. So, that's why it was easy for me to turn it all the way uh, counterclockwise. So that's so that's still OL, right? I turn it on. It's on. And it's still OL. So that's it. Just wanna go back to my last video. And I'm just gonna hook this up and set my temperature and then uh, uh, we'll go from there all right so I'm gonna call this a fix um, I had to turn it on just put on medium and uh, or middle uh, I just had to wait for the compressor to cycle make sure it turns off uh, it is off so if I put it I should keep back on Okay, so I'm just gonna set it to middle and it's fixed.